Hi everyone, Malibu Sean Beaver here again, and well, I'm going to do a movie guy read a blog right now, just because I did it in a while, so I'm going to do a movie that the Foster Critic has done, and it's one of my favorite movies, Howard the Duck. It's about a this alien duck from Duck World that came to Earth to save the, the universe. And only his the adventures on Earth he was stuck that stuck in Cleveland with a lead singer from a, a rock band an all female rock band played by Leah Thompson and a, a nerdy scientist played by the then unknown Oscar Award winning Tim Robbins and Jeffrey Jones who everyone knows as the principal from the first few days day off. He, during trying to get back to his world via this contraption, the this evil monster took over Jeffrey Jones's body, and he pulled people who play a doctor, a fellow scientist of Tim Robbins' character, and yeah, and then they try to save. No, he takes their takes Blake Thompson's character. Hostage and tries to put another uh, alien in her body, and the Howard and the du and Tim Robbins character for his name uh, saved the day by destroying the 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 the, 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 the story that brought Howard to Earth and. The, the soundtrack was pretty good. And the, the music was done. The, the theme song for this part was the, actually last. The theme song of this movie was written by Thomas Dolby, who did a blend of music science, but sung by Leah Thompson and her band Cherry Bomb in that film. And sadly, some people were giving this movie a bad rap because of of it of being so campy and corny but it's a, a movie so bad it's good and early on in this in this film there was one scene that involved a naked woman a female duck in the shower in this actually in the tub and they, and they shown her boobs and the nostalgic critic did the little joke moment called saying nothing can say out uh, do DuckTales, woo woo, and then it, the melody of the DuckTales theme played, and it was a nice joke, and out of five, I'm giving this movie a five out of five, so it's Malibu Sean Beatman signing off.